Praise the Lord. Praise our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. You are most welcome in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We are going to continue with our holiness study. We saw part 22 last time. So we are going to continue with part 23 uh, now. But before we do so, let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for your faithfulness. We thank you for your compassion. We thank you for your mercies. We thank you because your word is crystal clear that without holiness, no one shall see you. Lord, as we live in the last days, let us understand that holiness is the qualification to see you. Holiness is the condition to see you. Holiness is the requirement to see you. In Jesus' name, Lord, let us be holy in every aspect of our life. And you alone will take all the honor and all the glory. I cover this presentation with the blood of Lord Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. We are going to have a look at the fact that the holiness of the body is holistic. The holiness of the body is holistic. What does that mean? It means that your body has different parts and every part of your body must be holy. In other words, every part of your body must be pure. Every part of your body must be without spot. Every part of your body must be without wrinkle. Every part of your body must be without blemish. May it be so to you in Jesus' name. Let's open our Bibles to 1 Corinthians 12.12. 12. 1 Corinthians 12.12. 12. I'm reading from the authorized King James Version. I read, For as the body is one, and hath many members, and all the members of that one body, being many, are one body, so also is Christ. It is crystal clear that your body is one with many parts. Your body is one with different parts. Therefore, when the Bible talks about the holiness of the body or the purity of the body, the Bible is talking about the purity of different parts of your body. From your hair right up to your toe. Every part of your body must be pure. Every part of your body must be without spot. Every part of your body must be clean. Every part of your body must be without filthiness. Every part of your body must be without corruption. Every part of your body must be without pollution. If any part of your body is impure or has spots, then your body as a whole is unholy. If any part of your body has any wrinkle or is fitting, in any way, then your whole body is unclean. Your whole body is unholy. Your whole body is not pure. In order for your whole body to be pure, every part of your body must be pure. 
in order for your whole body to be holy, every part of your body must be holy. In order for your whole body to be without spot, every part of your body must be without spot. In order for your whole body to be without blemish, every part of your body must be without blemish. In order for your whole body to be without wrinkle, every part of your body must be without wrinkle. In order for your whole body to be without fitness, every part of your body must be without fitness. In order for your whole body to be without corruption, every part of your body must be without corruption. It is crystal clear. You shall study different parts of the body in the future during this uh, lecture. For the moment, it is important for you to understand that the holiness of your body is holistic. In other words, every part of your body must be holy in order for your body as a whole to be holy. May it be so to you in Jesus' name. Once again, the holiness of the body is holistic. When we talk about the holiness of the body, we are talking about the holiness of every part of the body as taught in the Word of God. The Word of God is crystal clear that you have to cleanse your whole body, your whole flesh, from every fittingness. In 2 Corinthians 7 verse 1, it means that you have to cleanse every part of your body from every fittingness. Perfecting holiness in the fear of God. May it be so to you in Jesus' name. It is time for us to pray. Open your mouth and begin to pray that your whole body will be holy. That your holiness will be holistic. That the holiness of your body will be holistic. In other words, pray that every part of your body will be holy. Every part of your body will be without spot. Every part of your body will be without blemish. Every part of your body will be without wrinkle. Every part of your body will be without fittiness. Every part of your body will be without corruption. Every part of your body will be without pollution. Every part of your body will not be defied in any way. In Jesus' name, open your mouth and begin to pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for this wonderful opportunity to come before your presence. We thank you because you are holy and you have called us unto holiness. We thank you because you are holy and you have commanded us to be holy as you are holy. Lord Jesus, let us understand that the holiness of our bodies is holistic. And let every part of our body be holy according to your word. In Jesus' name, we give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. In the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Remain blessed until we see you again. In Jesus' name, bye-bye for the moment.